Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and right now I'm making my Mediterranean salad with cauliflower, herbs, spinach, feta cheese. I've got uh, cucumber and Kalamata olives to add, and then just the dressing, which is oil and vinegar, not a lot of oil, um, mint, parsley, salt, pepper, and lemon juice. And I thought that would be nice just because the weather is um, getting very um, pleasant outside, so this could be nice to scoop into a bowl and eat outside. That's finished and everybody loves this here. <laughs> the kids love it and it's got beans, cucumber, tomato, red pepper, um, the cauliflower, spinach, feta cheese, olives, red onion, so many good flavors in there. Perfect for spring and summer. I mean perfect whenever but I love it now. And some people ask, oh, do you ever share your recipes? Yes, I have a recipe playlist on this channel that probably has close to 80 recipes. So whenever I share a dinner, I mean, if it's a little bit more involved than just like sausages and pepper, I most likely have a video on it. So this, this recipe should be called Mediterranean Cauliflower Salad in my recipe playlist. I don't know if you can see, but oh yeah, you can see the bird flapping. And uh, they've been going in and out of the birdhouse, which is awesome. So the birds, that bird right there that you see moving is trying to get some of that hydrangea. And I see them taking stuff inside the nest. That is awesome considering we just hung it like a day or two ago. The yard sale is over. My daughter and I had a great time and the weather couldn't have been more Perfect. We're in now. Everything's cleaned up. I have these three bins that didn't sell, um, so I'm very happy about what I got rid of. And the bottom bin is empty, and that's what we put our big comforters in. I was just using it to hold some of the stuff for the yard sale. So I've taken a shower just to get refreshed. I've got a light dress on. The windows are open, and we are just relaxing. After I got out of the shower, I used this. This was a sample that was in that big sample bag that my daughter and I picked up. And it's, what is it, Laneige? I don't know how to pronounce that, but this smelled good. I liked the way it felt. Water Bank Moisture Cream. So I'm gonna look up whatever that brand is. It's the sounds of spring, lawn mowers and clippers. And if I, <laughs> of course you mess up when I start filming. There we go. Jump roping and I'm weeding in the raspberry and strawberry patch. I wanted something quick to make for dinner. So I made meatballs. It's just a packet of ranch, a packet of onion soup mix and the meat and you are good to go. And we're having the leftover Mediterranean cauliflower salad. It is supposed to be an even nicer day today than it was yesterday. Um, I bet it gets a little humid, probably in the 80s today. And uh, I've already cleaned and then laundry and dishes. So I am just sitting down to eat something before we go out. I've got half an avocado. I wanted to eat it before it went brown. Some sausage, eggs, and some Tabasco. Since we had the yard sale yesterday, I've got some empty boxes, just boxes that I was storing and displaying things in. So I'm going under my cabinets to see if anything can go in one of these boxes. Like if I just had a sculpture that could go in here and be safe, or you know, a couple things that were sitting out that can go in a harder box to be safe as well. And I pulled out this little um, group of items that I just had tucked here. And I think I actually want to put some out for Easter. Not the um, green ribbon, which says for tying Christmas packages, tinsel cord, which I put my own thing on because I think this was empty. And not these little matchbooks, which I picked up at the same store, but different times. And I didn't think that they were a set, but actually the design is all the same. So I think those look very similar. But I think I'd like to put these little black books out by my dome. These are some religious cards that I think would be nice to stick with the pile. These were a very thoughtful gift. And then probably some that I've picked up at sales as well.
Look at that one. So you can put those in some flower frogs. Maybe that's what I'll do. I love this one. It has a silvery look to it, almost like an older photograph. Yeah, I think I'll put some out on some flower frogs. Made in Italy. Best Easter wishes. April 17th, 1938. Wow. I put a few of my favorites on display in the flower frogs. And as I was setting these up, I got a text from church and um, our ladies club president asked me to deliver some Easter boxes to some people in the church who just can't get out very easily. Some candy and bread, probably some eggs and Easter cookies. So Easter's in two weeks, but they just want to get them out to the people so they can enjoy them while they're fresh. So she's going to drop those by later and then we'll have to deliver them. But I have no clue where I'm going to have to drive to or how many boxes I'm going to be receiving. Here's a little glance at the dining room for spring. The kids have been playing outside and getting very hot. So they've been having popsicles and they, um, they, my daughter requested iced tea. So I made some jasmine green tea and it looks so green on the table. I've just got a blue little tablecloth. I like blue and floral for the spring and summer and it just hides all the mess from the kids. So I only have to wash it like once a week. If I did white, it would be every day. <laughs> And I love the red apples against the blue on the table. The buffet is very simple, just basically utilitarian things. Now, I don't put anything in the decanters because I don't know what was in them to begin with. And if I can't get down into every corner, which is pretty much impossible through those little holes to clean it, I'm not going to put anything in there. So these are just for display. They can definitely make beautiful vases. I have an idea for this square one for Halloween next year. But I just put them on display as works of art. You can also put um, those cork sickles in. You could turn them into uh, lamps. Actually, I might have a kit to show you how to do that. This kit is from Amazon. I've, I think I've gotten them... I think maybe once when I went to Hobby Lobby, possibly Lowe's, but definitely Amazon has them. I bought the um, light bulb separately. Uh, I needed this larger, I don't know what they call this, like candle style for like a, a lampshade that I had. But if you are afraid of wiring or electricity, you don't have to do anything with this. It's already hooked up and it comes usually with three different size corks depending on what you're going to stick this in. So here on this decanter, that one actually fits perfectly. Plug it in and you have an instant lamp here you can see in the reflection. So I didn't even think because I don't have a, um, a stopper to put in here like the other ones they were all I think either too small or too big so I didn't think about turning this one into a lamp so let me see if I have a lampshade I just grabbed this beaded lampshade and I plugged it in so let's turn the switch oh here it is <laughs> and you can turn a decanter you can turn a wine bottle champagne bottle Anything that a little cork would fit into, into a lamp that quick, and you don't have to do any wiring. And then you will see this, but you could just kind of turn that to the back and then just have it hang down behind. I'm sure you could hide it. Kind of like that. I don't know about the shade though, with the clear and the clear and the size of it, but I didn't even think to turn it into a lamp when I brought it home. And I do want a lamp over here, so <laughs> my brain is spinning now. As I'm looking around the room, I'm thinking about how many things I thrifted and how I probably would say that a hundred times. I thrifted this, I thrifted that. So then I thought, well, let me try and figure out what I haven't thrifted. 
and I counted seven things in the dining room. The light fixture, um, one of the curtain rods, because the other one was thrifted, the Roman shades, the curtains, that's four things, the green bowls, the one of the white platters, um, but that was a gift, but I know it was, it was for our wedding, so it was on our registry and, and bought new. The salt and pepper shakers. Okay, so now I think we're up to eight because I just remembered those. And the picture in the back that says pour. I've been doing some collaging at night and I decided that I wanted to make this sheet music book into a collage book um, about the, um, the months. First started off with this picture of a girl. I got this at a flea market um, in with a whole bag of photographs. I had shared that with you. And I loved that she was like in a pile of leaves and she has this broom, and on the back it does say that it is October. I put it in some white for photo corners so I didn't have to glue the back, and then I could um, lift it up and see the date and what was written. This was the inside of a book that I got at my favorite thrift store when they were shutting down, and it was part of the $5 fill-a-bag of books. So I cut all those little negative spaces out, which was very challenging because it's older, really crinkly paper, so it tore very easily. And it was in a rectangular shape, but I wound up cutting it apart to give it this feeling of the wind blowing the leaves. I've got some um, insects that I've cut out and some old it's kind of like a receipt, like a business paper in French. And then underneath this is a brown sepia ink. And if you take a sponge, like a ki kitchen sponge and wet it and then put the ink on it, it creates this amazing pattern. I had another butterfly here that I didn't like, so I'm peeling it off and I'll stick something over top of that. Maybe some lace, but I haven't figured it out yet. And so it's just transitioning from day into night. I'd like to try and do that for every month, but I don't know if I'll be able to and if I'll have the right papers. So I started on April. I have some watercolored paper and the kids made this for me. And then these were little place card holders. So I cut the girls out. And then for an abstract representation of rain, I have recipe cards and some more watercolors that the kids did. And then this was a little die cut. I didn't want to do too much with flowers. I think I want to save that for May. So that's as far as I've gotten. And then with the scraps, because I don't really like to throw a ton away when I'm making art, I like the challenge of doing something else. Then I just have this little board that was probably in with a bunch of papers I got at an estate sale but since it's thick it's so nice because it won't warp or curl your paper so I've just glued down all of the bits and since the color scheme is similar and it's a color scheme that I selected for this then it's automatically going to have a cohesive color scheme and then it's just very um, abstract and interesting what might become of it. In this pedestal, I had these brushes. I moved that here into the display case and I added one of my lavender sachets that I made here. So I think that'll be it for this video and uh, I'll see all of you in another one. But tomorrow I'm going to the flea market again to see what jewelry treasures I can find. Have a good one everyone, bye.